I sing a child ballad. Have you heard of child ballads? No? Oh, child ballads are not about children. They're, uh, they're called child ballads because they're written by, uh, they're collected by um, Professor Francis James Child in the uh, late 19th century. And um, Professor Child made it his lifetime's work to collect as many of the great um, old ballads as he possibly could and put them together in a book. And uh, this book actually turned out to be five mighty volumes of uh, the dozens and dozens of versions of the great ballads that he collected. For instance, uh, he collected the Barbara Allen, which is a well-known ballad. He collected 199 versions of that. And yeah, and most of them have at least between sort of 60 and 100 versions of most of them. And they're all in these books with the, in tiny little writing and lots of uh, sleeve notes and uh, appendixes and uh, notes after every line, which makes them somewhat hard work to get through. But, um, he, he did a wonderful job collecting these, these songs and uh, it's all a piece of history really. But he made one mistake, terrible mistake, and that was that he forgot to get the tunes for them. Oh, yeah. Uh, so along came a, an American ap academic called Bertrand Bronson, and he, uh, he got the tunes for most of these ballads, and he put them into four even mightier tones, about that thick. And um, mm. this is one of the child ballads. This is, and some of these ballads can be incredibly gory, and this is one of the most gruesome, gruesome of the child ballads. Mm. And uh, I got this off a mate of mine called Mick Bramich from Birmingham, many, many years ago. And, uh, and Mick's a great uh, song collector himself and he's a good concertina player and fine singer and he's always happy to give his songs away, which he did to me. He gave me this song and I looked for this version of his song in the Bronson and couldn't find it. And I asked him, where, where did this, this version come from? And Mick said uh, it came from Bowling Green, Kentucky. So. Uh, where a lot, a lot of the songs were collected in the Appalachian Mountains, and this is uh, this is the cruel mother. This has got a bit of a, a bit of a bit to sing. Uh, two little refrains in each verse. It's a nice little song to sing. There was a lady lived in York, all alone and lonely. A farmer's son came courting her down by the greenwood side, <clears throat> and he courted her for seven long years, all alone and lonely, until she proved a child by him. Down by the greenwood side and She leaned herself against the oak All alone and lonely And first it bent and then it broke Down by the greenwood side She pitched herself against the thorn All alone and lonely there she had two sweet babes born Down by the greenwood side She poured out her snow-white breast All alone and alone She bid them suck for it would be the last Down by the greenwood side She pulled down her long yellow hair all alone and alone, she tied it round their little feet and hands down by the greenwood side. She pulled out her sharp pocket knife. All alone and alone, she pierced it through their tender hearts down by the greenwood side. She was a 
sitting in her father's hall All alone and alone She saw the babies playing at the ball Down by the greenwood side Oh babes, oh babies, if you were mine All alone and alone You'd dress you all in the silk so fine and by the greenwood side Oh mother, oh mother, when we were thine All alone and alone You never dressed us in the coarse silk or the fine And by the greenwood side Thank <clears throat> you.